Welcome back. The New York art auctions raking in a billion dollars more than expected. And that was thanks to newfound crypto wealth. Robert Frank joins us now with that story. Robert. Kelly, total sales topping $2.6 billion at the New York Art Week. That was an all-time record. 32 works sold for $20 million or more, also a record. Now the explosion in global wealth and fears of inflation fueling some of the demand. But it was also the new crypto rich that drove prices to double or triple their estimates. Crypto whale Justin Sun, he was the buyer of Giacometti's famous Lanez sculpture, paying $78 million. He tweeted this was actually his third purchase from Sotheby's just this year. And the Swiss venture capitalist and crypto investor Ryan Zurer, he was the buyer of Beeple's first ever physical work auctioned. It was a seven foot tall light box with LED screens driven by a quote NFT going for $29 million. That was more than twice the estimate. Makes it the second most expensive NFT ever auctioned after Beeple's last piece in March went for $69 million. And of course, we know about the Constitution Dow. That was a crowdfunded group of crypto investors. They raised $40 million to buy a first edition of the U.S. Constitution. They were outbid by hedge fund billionaire Ken Griffin, who paid $42.3 million and will display it at the Crystal Bridges Museum in Arkansas. People tweeting in support of the Dow saying, quote, I think this is the start of something big. And he is certainly a part of it. Kelly? Robert, have the Beeples held their value? I thought Mike Novogratz was saying that maybe the value of some of it had already fallen. But I, I mean, I have to say that was pretty cool to see the way it looks live in that box and three. I mean, you, you know, this is a glimpse into, you know, what the next wave of our generation of artwork is going to look like. It was really fascinating because Beeple his whole life has been a little bit envious of the real, quote, snobby art world. He'd never had anything auctioned before that NFT in March, which went for $69 million. And they asked him, look, do you think you'll ever have a physical work seen at these auction houses, perhaps in a museum or auctioned? He said, I hope so. And look at this. Not only did he have one, but it went for $29 million, more than double the estimate. And it, it was. It was a really cool piece, appealed to this whole new crowd of buyer that showed up online and on the phone like yeah. they had never. So the auction houses love this because it's a new generation of collectors. And a new generation of pooled bidders, I think, too, after Constitution Dow. Robert, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.